not finished yet. That filled in, that sweat on. We got that sweating in. So when you do that, are you actually is the iron does the iron actually touch the pipe? It no. does it does or slightly, it, yeah. Just sort of okay. Yeah. That's sliding so touch yeah. yeah. So we're just ready now to, to run it off. Yeah, this is the pro we call this running off. So you've got tacking, mm -hmm. filling in and running off. This is to make the seam look really neat. Do you want to open it, George? And yeah, we'll see if it's. Uh, it, yeah. George will yeah. show you now how we put the, 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 the mouth section in for the boy set. Uh, just a little like the other. We can adjust it afterwards then. It, it's curious that Harrison uh, in, in Durham, they take the mouths out in the flat before the pipe's really. Yeah, and I, I, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, we don't think it's a good way at all. I can, I can see why they. I can see why they might want to do that. We can and we can. As George has just shown how he's done that, and just uh, he's actually he's actually lined the foot to the body up by lining the lift, the lower lip and the upper lip well, together. That's true. So he could see that with the lips, if there's any cross where you know about that. Yeah. If you put a foot on cross where the lips are not level, that won't voice. Mm. So George is. George has actually aligned them up before he got to um, putting the whole thing together. We'll smart it all up now and then run a, just a, a line along for the voice. So. Well, you wouldn't with a chisel now, and now you would probably see a knife in there. Yeah. One of those right angle knives. But the. All oh, right. Have you seen the, the diamond shape? Yeah, well. No, I, I, know, I know the one you're talking about, yeah. but the one that I'm talking about is a handle. The blade goes in this way, and then it's sharpened on both sides. You can cut this way, and you can cut this way. Yeah. yeah. And you can sort of sneak up on the line. Yeah, yeah. But I know the knife you're talking about. Now we don't use them. It's usually for opening pipes with ears on. Yeah. Because you can't get a knife in properly. So I have a couple, but um, we always take them out before the ears on. Not three bars in really, but it certainly <laughs> does. Yeah. Again, that's particular way with the open toes and yeah. uh, no nicking as yet, well, that's yeah. a, and no cut up. Yeah, yeah. Tremendous, yeah. tremendously low. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, but that gives the boy. So we know that when he's cut, cut yeah. the thing up, close the toe up, nicked it a little bit, it will go straight yeah. away. George did a mixture um, two weeks ago, and the boy shop man there said he had to alter three language. Out of a three-rack mixture. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. That is quite clever, <laughs> man. We devised this method. Uh, we've got to really think about Bill Drake's work in respect of it being exactly. We've got to make special efforts. Standard pipe work, we wouldn't do this. We don't need to do it. An organ bill is happy to do it our traditional way. But we've got to replicate this right down to the finer details. And this is how we go about it. Some, some old pipe maker in the States, I've forgotten who it is, he, um, he actually had a little mirror under his, for this process, he had a little mirror down there somewhere, and he had a center line on the Oh, so you could see, yeah. yeah. Oh, is that what it did? Yeah. So you don't have to look at it, yeah. you just look at it in the mirror. Yeah. I like that, so it lines up. That's a straight line there, on yeah. that. it's a fair method. We do obviously the beach scored, you don't need to do yeah. it, you know, you probably Yeah, they just go to the lines and yeah. it will automatically go to those yeah. lines. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting, I've never heard that method. We we take when we've started to flat it down with the lines at the back, we just look at the back quickly and put the thing back in. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure. Oh you could be pulled out with the, the, yeah, the we were, yeah. if we were using the back line. Yeah. So you can sort of check the flat is the same, so it is the same. Yeah. Nice. Hmm. This is how we actually test the flatting as well. If you hold it in the light you'll see where that shines down, oh, yeah. it's just like school. On the lower lip, there's a curve, no, it's, it's not flat, right. there's a curve. And that curve, you can see on the uh, side elevation there, yeah. there's a, a, a gentle curve, that's the best for voicing. 
the curve. It gives a nice little... Yeah, the wind glides into the uh, upper lip. If that was dead flat, we, we don't like that ourselves. Our preference would be that, uh, to curve, yeah. The, the scoop section, which is more North German, doesn't really appeal to the uh, British market. Um, you've got to do different things to the language when you get that scoop at the bottom, specific to um, pipe making. And what sort of travel does it have? Uh, on the blur. It's, just very it's not like a wood bevel, it's more, it's a lot really more steep. steep. Yeah, it's very steep. And there are variations of all of these planes, but every man has got one. I've had this for, I, think I bought that in 1977, mm -hmm. started in 1975 and uh, bought it off another fellow that had been using it for many years as well. Oh, so that's still flared. And as I say, up to about seven years ago, this is how we did every pipe. This would be round about, I would say, a two and two thirds foot pipe. It's round about the same, the right diameter for a, so in the flat, that would be a twelfth, or two mm -hmm. and two thirds. Um, and that, that would be the piece of metal cut out, ready to go. Um, and the next pipe will be slightly shorter, slightly less diameter, all in a pile. You turn them all over, start at the biggest pipe. And this is the first thing you would do. We actually... This is the tip side of the pipe, which is where the cloth oh, yeah. of, the, um, of the bench, the casting bench is. You can see the cloth imprint. So there is, you can see there it's slightly dipped in there. Mm -hmm. This is how the metal's got a slight dip in it, and we've got to take that out of the plane. Is that because where it was, how it was rolled after it was cast? No, it, it's just how it was cast. Oh. It would have dipped a little oh. bit. Maybe the cloth was slightly folded, maybe the bench wasn't level. Um, maybe that somebody went a tiny bit faster there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah. But this, this is how every pipe this hand plane. This is the inside of the pipe. So I would do this all along the full length of the pipe to make sure it's level. After this I would go along with this. This is what we call a rough scraper. <clears throat> this takes those plane lines. You run your finger over that you can feel that that's quite rough. This will make it smooth, but it won't really polish it. To get a quick edge on, we use the round side of a burnisher. And then we hand So it does have a little hook on it. Yes, it's got an edge on it. And then we scrape that. I imagine it looks quite easy. It does look quite easy. <laughs> Yes, well, I can, I can tell that it's not. <laughs> so that now is a, a lot smoother. You can feel the bite from the blade. There you go. I will see now I've got it. That's it. If you shake it a little bit as well, just tip it out. That's it. That's it. You can feel the bite, can't you? Yeah. You can hear it too. Yes, you can, yeah. yeah. The blade's high speed steel, it's a, it's a hardened steel. But you can feel how it's not the easiest thing to actually push, is it? No, it's not. And you can imagine over a 16 foot um, pipe body, that's, that's a day's work, is that? Yeah. When you're going home and you've only done one pipe. And you're still, <laughs> and you're still, out the <laughs> you're still on the original shoulder? Yeah. <laughs> If you put more force into it, you get a better shave, you know, ah. and pressed harder. There you go, you get, ah. it. You get that, yeah. Yeah, it's coming off now. Yeah, it's easier. That's a nice shaving now. And you can feel that's great. Now look at that. Yeah. You can feel, can you feel that, Billy? You feel the thickness of it. Oh, yeah. That's quite a, a lump off the thickness. What I was also going to mention with this pipe body, if that was the mouth area of the two and two thirds foot there, this pipe with a hand plane pipe would have to be thinner. So it's less weight. Yes, that's right, yeah. And we would plane that down. We would mark it and go over with the plane until it was thinner. And the way that we would know that that was thinner 
Uh, I know you probably think my promises are burning. Yes. We don't. We'd never use them. We've got them now, but that's how we do it. I just feel it. You feel it. That's thinner on that side than it is on that side. Mm. Again, this is we weren't. We didn't know what they were. We were just brought up to them. Well, as long as you don't do it better than me, ha! I'll be a little bit upset then. No, and George will laugh his head off. <laughs> So is there anything on the uh, uh, Well, actually, it's an interesting point. We never did, but from chatting to Harrison by me, because they used to use a little bit of uh, French chalk ah. just to oh, polish it up a little bit. And you'll see that that's... Wow. Right. Mm. You can feel the difference anyway if you're on your fingers again. Oh, yeah. Mm. It will come a little bit shiny, isn't it? That's better, that's better. That's it. If we roll that now, as you can see with the ones that Terry's doing, Terry's left the scraper marks and he's not gone for that. He's done it with a rough scraper because Bill wants to see the lines. So the foot of one of Terry's feet will be marked on like that. When that's rolled, that's how you get the lines. Mm -hmm. Then the next foot will go there. And uh, all the way along, this piece will get probably eight, nine, ten feet of a two and two thirds. So that's how we do that. That would be then, I would polish that all the way along there like that. And that's very smooth now.